Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another IKEA update video. I genuinely don't remember the last time I did one. I mean I did one very, I want to say very recently, I feel like I've done one in the last six months. But I want to make some changes. The other day I was going through the cabinet and I noticed that there was some mold on the backboard, especially at the bottom. And I was like, mm, can't be having that. Like, don't, don't need that. So I got some new things for the backboard instead. And then also I've been struggling with these fans. They, they were fine, but they're like a little bit noisy comparatively. And like, I can't film with them on or anything because they're just so loud. <laughs> unfortunately so I just need to switch them out so I got some computer fans and stuff like that so yeah I'm just gonna upgrade the cabinet I think I definitely need to give it a good clean as well it's gotten a bit dirty I don't clean it nearly enough so give the glass a good clean really upgrade it you know so that's what I'm going to be doing today Exciting, isn't it? My name is Emma. If you don't know me already, I make houseplanty content all over the internet. So if you want to follow along with my houseplant journey and learn something along the way, stick around, watch more of my videos, and subscribe to my channel. So the first thing I'm doing is clearing out the cabinet. I need to take all the plants out so I can get the backboards off and so I can give it a good clean. So just gonna take everything out and get going with the upgrade. So the top shelf looks pretty okay. I mean, this does get messy. I'll be sure to link this down in the description below as well. This is a shelf I got from Yet's Med Plantis. <laughs> I butchered that, I'm sure. But it is like a custom shelf I got for the Millsbow. And they're amazing. I absolutely love it. Probably one of the best things I've done since getting the cabinet was getting one of these absolutely love it there's a couple places where it's splitting up here like that but it doesn't really look moldy it just looks a bit split which is unfortunate but like manageable you know like i can handle a bit of splitting but overall pretty good and pretty fine also i think it has expanded a bit because like i can't just like easily take things out which is annoying so like I wanted to move the shelf, but like <laughs> I literally cannot do it easily. So yeah, I think it's just time for something new in that zone. So this one down here is the one that is moldy. At least I'm pretty sure it is like all of that in there. It just looks like mold. It's also splitting in a couple of places, but like I said, that's a bit more manageable. I can tolerate that. But overall, I just, it just needs to, it needs to change. It needs to be different. So I'm going to change it today. So this was a bit of a faff to put in originally because in order to have it have space against the back, I needed to put washers behind it. So I'm really scared it's gonna clatter and make a really loud noise when it comes down. Yeah, yeah so I had two washers behind each. So like it's splitting at nearly every point and like in there that's like definitely mold so I am I feel like I'm doing the right thing now um because this is actually pretty gross so good stuff isn't it let's take the top one down now Thank you. 
This one's definitely not as bad, but it's still not ideal. Yeah, time to go. Get out of here. Oh, and I can clean the back. I can clean the back. I have never, literally never cleaned the back. That's probably really good that I can clean it now. Oh, good. Just got my gloss cleaner and I'm just gonna go spray all that goodness. Get it nice and clean. I'm gonna use some kitchen cleaner to clean this. I'll clean the bottom with it as well, just to get it nice and clean. It's gotten like a bit banged up, just through like me putting my pots in and out, which isn't ideal. Like I don't think it's gonna harm it, but it's just not perfect anymore, which is a shame. It's like there's nothing I can really do to solve that while I still get like the flow, the airflow that I desire. So I'm not really sure how to prevent that from happening. I mean, it still looks great. Like, look at that. It's beautiful. <laughs> so, like, I'm not worried. It's just, it's just, it's, it's not ideal. So now that it is all clean and sparkling, I want to install some wire grid shelves. I think these are for like hanging photos or something. I don't know, I got them on Amazon. I'll make sure to link them down below if you're keen on getting some too. But the main struggle with these is how the heck do you attach them to the cabinet? So I was like doing research on all the like Ikea cabinet greenhouse pages and I saw someone who hung it with magnets yeah magnets so I got some magnets look at these magnets so I got four of these little things and they're intense magnets like heavy duty I think they can hold up to 80 pounds which I think is like 40 something kilograms but they are intense magnets so I think I'm not gonna have any problems like holding this up because like I'm not putting that that much weight on them in in the end am I so should be fine the harder part will be hanging the bottom one because the shelf isn't magnetic zip ties it might have to be zip ties okay well let's hang the top one first see if we like it and I think I should still be able to use most of the accessories from the Ikea ones but I did get some more as well, because, like, I wanted to treat myself a little bit. <laughs> Is that warranted? I don't know, but I got them anyway. So I'd say that looks pretty freaking good. I'm going to see if some of the accessories I have work for the shelves. So there's a couple of different shelves here. I can get them untangled. This is quite a large one. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm really gonna have to do something about um, propping this forward a bit, purely because I don't want it to hang too low. But for big plants, that's gonna be quite good because one of my main issues with the small shelves I had before is that you can't fit very big pots in it, but this can fit much bigger, I think. And then there's a smaller one, which is a little bit bent, but oh, it bends really easily, fine smaller one and then there's like these little shelves which just might not work um because they're a bit slanty but they might we're, we're gonna try it we're gonna see not sure we're just we're having a look we're giving it a go but then at the same time let's see like that still works which is great Oh, that works really well as well. Okay, cool, so I can still use the drawers, I can still use these shelves, and I can still use these little clips. They're not gonna be quite as secure as they used to be, purely because it's a bigger hold system, but I could also 
put stuff on there. I could like hang stuff on that or on the edges of this. I don't know if I would want to, but I could. So that's really good. I just need to figure something else out so this doesn't just keep banging against the back because that will annoy me to death. So yeah, I'm, I'm overall, I'm really happy with this. Um, I'll just have to figure something out to go there, which I can do. I feel like that's a pretty easy thing to find. You know, like those bumpers for doors, so you don't like bash it into the wall for like cabinets or doors. Maybe I can get some of them and just like stick them on the bottom. Cause then like, even if it did move around a bit, it wouldn't make that god awful noise of like that. So, oh yeah, that's a good idea. Oh my God, sometimes I'm smart. So I want to attach this to that at the back. It honestly would probably be easiest if I did it while this was off. Oh, I was also gonna raise this up. I'm gonna raise this up. I'm gonna make it higher. Oh, uh, I should've done that first. Cause then I can have more room for taller plants in the bottom section. Yes. That looks pretty good. And I never really hung anything low on the shelf like on the backboard anyway, so I don't think it matters that it's like that far off the bottom. That'll be good, it'll be easier to get my moss poles in and out, especially the Gloriosum one, which is like pretty tall. So this is good. I'm actually really chuffed about that. I think that looks really good. Now it's time for the fans. Oh, this is exciting as well. Very, very, very exciting. Okay, give me one second. So someone in Canada reached out to me and they make mounts for your like computer fans within the Ikea cabinet. Mounts, and they're magnetic. They're magnetic, ah! And so that means that instead of just having these like flat against the side of the cabinet, which I know so many people do, you can, you can put it on a mount and it's like flexible so you can like kind of orient it how you want it to to be in the cabinet. I'm so freaking excited about this. Like it was just out of the blue and I knew I wanted to like change my IKEA cabinet a bit and so when she messaged I was like yes! Um, absolutely! So her Etsy is CAD Jungle. I think she's Canadian uh, but she ships world freaking wide and so you can get these fans anywhere. I think it took a couple of weeks to ship to the UK, but that's totally fine. I wasn't in like a big rush to do this. I mean, I was a little bit because I figured out I wanted to change it and I was like, I need to do it immediately. But I had to be patient and I was, and I got these now and they're so freaking cool. So I was a little bit worried that because this isn't magnetic that I wouldn't be able to attach it. Like it's not magnetic, it doesn't stick. But they come with like two sides, so you can magnetize it from above because they've got this little one. It's got a little monster on it, which is pretty freaking cute. And look at this, look at this. It's magneted and like, it's pretty sturdy. Like as long as you don't knock it, if you knocked it, it would probably come away. But it is sturdy enough for the cabinet. I don't know, does it work through the glass? I'm, I'm too scared to do it through the glass. Just in case I um, break it. So I'm not gonna do it through the glass, but you could also just put it on the bottom of the cabinet. Like it sticks down there. So it's, it's a stand that works any direction, but I want them to come from above. I'm so excited about these. So I'll be sure to link these mounts down below. It doesn't come with the fans. I bought the pants fans separately on Amazon, but if you want to try these mounts for yourself, um, she's very kindly given me a discount code to give to all of you. So use Good Growing 10. This isn't sponsored by her. She did send these to me for free, but I am just so over the moon about them that I really, really wanted to share them with you and like, get you guys a discount if you can. So if you use Good Growing 10, you'll get 10% off in her Etsy shop. So do it. I highly recommend so far. I'm obsessed with them. I mean, I've obviously not tried them in use quite yet, but 
just seeing how they work automatically makes me love them and they're gonna magnet to the top as well yes i'm so excited so let's take up old fans and put in some freaking new ones yes Yes, I did just take the door off my cabinet. It's the easiest way. So like, I'm not the biggest computer person, but do we know why there's like a second like it's like a port. Is it for daisy chaining them together? Could I daisy chain them? But then this one has it too. I mean I've covered up with tape now because I didn't know what else to do. I feel like I still want moisture getting in there and like causing it to short circuit or something. I don't know. I guess I'll just keep covering them. I, I don't know what to do with them. But I plugged them into my Meros back there. So hopefully when I turn them on it'll work. Shall we turn it on just to give it a go? Just try it out. Why isn't it working? Because the USB ports are not working on it. Uh. Okay, so I think part of the problem was my Meros, which is freaking annoying. So I think the USB plugs on them aren't working. These fans are quieter, which is nice, but I, they they only work when I plug them into like a three prong USB adapter thing. Maybe I need to get a new Maros. One without the USBs and then just use the adapters. I don't know. It's annoying, but they're definitely quieter. Like I think with the door closed, I wouldn't really be able to hear it. Given I can't close the door right now because um, it's off. But you know, you know, you know. So I might get a plug that I can double USB in. That would be ideal because then I can just plug it into the like normal three prong sockets, which I know do work in the Maros because my lights are attached to them. So it should be fine. So I'm going to do that for now. The fans won't be plugged in. Really annoying, but I'm sure I can get something on Amazon in like the next couple of days. So it should be fine. Anyways, it's good to know. Maybe the USB ones aren't ideal because they'd stop working. <laughs> Great. But I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter because I'm still really happy with the like fan mounts and the um, boards and everything. So I'm not worried about it. I just think I would have preferred if I could have had everything working today. Ah, annoying. So you know the point in every project where things are terrible. I feel like I'm at that point. Everything is just all over, like there's stuff all over the floor. It's not working how I wanted it to. Like I don't have the thing with the, for the fans. And I just want to stop. I want it to be done. <laughs> but I can't just like have it be done. Oh god, okay. So I'm going to, I think, try and fill up the cabinet again and put stuff back in. I think that's where I am. It's gonna take me a minute to like figure out where I want everything because I did raise the shelf up a little bit so maybe I'll put a couple taller things in. Like my Milano Chrysum I think would look really good in the cabinet. So uh, we'll see. I know. I'm just I've just gotten to the point where I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> Which is like not ideal because I kind of need to do it. Otherwise it won't get done. <laughs> so I need to do it and I'll just do it. I'll just, I'll just do it. It'll be fine. I'll make it work. <laughs> It'll be okay. Let me put some plants back because I think that will make me feel a bit better about everything.
so I think I've got it to a point where I like it. I'll probably move it again in like a couple days. Like it's just a bit of trial and error, like right when you put stuff in, you just see whether or not you like it. I think it looks fine. I'll give you a little like toury schmoury of it. Like it looks pretty good and I think I've been able to fit like more in there which is awesome. I fit like a lot more small plants along the back. Brilliant. So very very happy about that. I just need to I just need to give it a go for a couple of days, you know? Like let it let it be how it is and hopefully get that plug thing for the fans because that would make things so much nicer. Um get the fans working. Really sorry to interrupt, but future Emma here. I just wanted to say that I did end up getting one of those little like USB to three prong things, but a double one so I can fit both of the fans into the one plug to get plugged into my smart power strip and now they are working. I think it was just the USB ports on my power strip weren't working for some reason or another, but luckily I had an extra outlet on it. So I was able to get them working and oh my goodness, I love them. I think they are so quiet. Way quieter than my old ones. I can't even hear them with the door closed and like they don't even bother me anymore. And now they're not going on and off at random times <laughs> like the old ones were because they were in the USBs and really loud. So it is just such a better solution. I'm hoping that the more constant airflow will help with the mold massively. I mean, hopefully there won't be any mold in there anymore because there's not anything that can go moldy in the same way. But overall, really, really, really pleased with the new fans and the little USB thing. And I... I'm absolutely loving my new setup. Oh, I'm so happy with them. Okay, carry on past Emma. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna put on the door because the door is still off. So I'm gonna re-put on the door and then give you a tour. That rhymed. So I'm not gonna go around naming every plant because I'll give like a proper tour down the line probably when I do a houseplant tour. But I feel like I've just got so much more space for small plants, like this shelf thing, it's a bit wary of it because it's kind of slanted, but oh my goodness, I can f actually fit like bigger things on it, which makes the world of difference. And these little things are amazing still. And I could probably put the drawers in still and use them as like even more storage. So that is amazing. And even though I shortened the top section, I still think I'm, I've got the same amount of plants in there because I didn't have any tall moss poles or anything that tall up there. And so I was even able to still fit the Wenlandii, which was on the bottom before. Like it's a bit tight and, and it's going to be a pain to get out to water it. But I can do that because there's a pole in front of it as well. So it's like completely manageable. And then down the bottom where I now have much more room. <laughs> like my moss poles look small because they don't look so tight which is awesome and I was able to fit an extra plant in here so I put my Melanochrysum in which I think it'll definitely benefit from this like extra bit of humidity and hopefully I'll be able to get it to grow like big leaves like this again because that would be amazing got several like lazy moss poles down here as well there's another one behind the Escaletto and then more of the grow vertical poles and then I was a bit nervous about this shelf thing, but it looks really good there. And I've got another basket, more of those shelves, and even something clipped up on that, which is perfect for it. So I honestly think, oh, and like a little pot of, um, whatchamacallit, like an allocation bulb. So I just feel like I've really fit so much more in and I feel like I can see things better as well because I'm like properly utilizing the vertical space. So I think it looks really freaking good. I'm actually really proud of that. I was really nervous like halfway through that it was just going to look really bad. But I am actually really fond of it. I think it looks fantastic. So I'm, I'm really proud of it. I really, really like it. Oh, that's like kind of a weight off my chest because I was really worried about it. And I think it kind of like goes better in the room now because the white backboards, like they looked fine, but I feel like the black just goes better with the rest of our room. I mean, 
all of my crazy mess BS needs to go away. But I think the black just looks better. I, I really want to get some more of these little clippy things if I can because those are super useful and I like I'd be able to clip so many things on because I've got like them clipped behind this little shelf also look at this leaf oh my goodness okay anyways this isn't a plant tour this is an Ikea cabinet update <laughs> sorry I'm getting sidetracked but yeah I'm really happy with it I don't think I could have asked for better at the minute I'm just I'm feeling it I'm really really feeling it so yeah that is me updating my Ikea cabinet again I feel like I've done it so many times at this point but I'm evolving, I'm changing, I'm learning, and it's part of the whole process. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up down below. If you want to see more IKEA cabinet stuff, let me know down below in the comments and comment on any housemate things you'd like me to talk about. If you want like more in-depth information, I have a couple other IKEA cabinet videos. I will link them in the click of Y and down below. So I highly suggest you check there for like a lot more information i've provided a decent amount in the couple years i've had it i think so if you're curious have a look at those and if not shoot me a message and i can hopefully answer your questions don't forget to subscribe for more and i'll see you next time bye